Hi, and in this Microsoft Word tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to change the word spacing of your paragraphs so the left and right hand edges are aligned square to your margins, how to change the spacing of your paragraphs to suit the look of your document, how to change line spacing, and how to change the spacing between each character in your document. I'll put all the video timings in the description below so you can just scroll through the video to the section you need. So I have here some random text, which I'm going to use for demonstration purposes. So the first thing that we're going to do is to look at the different ways that you can align your text in your paragraphs. So at the moment, all of our text is aligned to the left. But if you wanted your text to be very square, so let's just zoom out. If we select the whole of our text here, but we wanted it to line up with the edge here, then all we simply do is go to the Home tab here and go down to this Justify icon here. And if you click that, you can see that now all of your text lines up to the right. And if you click off, you can see that you have very nice straight edges to your text in your document. The next thing we're going to look at is paragraph spacing. So if I highlight all of my text and I go to the Design tab, and go along to this icon here with a drop down called paragraph spacing. If I just click on that, you can see you're given a number of different options here. And you can click on any one of these, and then you can see how your text will lie once you've chosen the particular options. And all that does is allow you to space out your document and your paragraphs to look the way you want it to. The next thing we're going to look at is line spacing. So again, if I highlight an element of my text, I go up to the Home tab, and I go to this icon here with the little two blue arrows called Line and Paragraph Spacing. If I click on the drop down, you can see here that again, I'm given a number of different options. Now you can select from any of these options. Let's say I go to Two, and then you can see how the spacing between the lines of my paragraph have increased. And if I just go back and just increase that a little bit, if I want to decrease the line spacing in my paragraphs, I can go down to this option here saying line spacing options. And then I'll have this dialog box here. All you need to do is to go down to this section here called spacing and then go to this section here. And in here, I don't think you can go any lower than 0.8, click OK, until your words start to really interfere with each other. As you can see, this D here is very close to the bottom of this Y here. And that all does depend on what font you have as well. So you can test that. But I think that 1.8 is about the minimum you can go to before the words start clashing with each other. The next thing we're going to focus on is the spacing between every character in our text. So again, if we highlight this paragraph and then we right click and go down to font. And once again, we're presented with a dialog box. Now, normally the dialog box would come up like this and would just come up in this section here called font. What we need to do is go to the advanced, which is here, and then go down to this character spacing area here. And in here, we can expand or we can condense. Expanding means that we can increase the spacing between our characters. So if we click one point and click OK, you can see now that the spaces between the characters have increased. And then if we just go back, go back to font. And then once again, if we go to condense and it says one point again and click OK. And you can see how each character has got closer and the spacing has almost disappeared between the characters. Okay, so I hope that short video has helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.